Universal feature of Christmas is the use of evergreens in churches and homes. Among ancient Romans, evergreens were an emblem of peace, joy, and victory. The early Christians placed them in their windows to indicate that Christ had entered the home. Holly and ivy, along with pine and fir, are called evergreens because they never change color. They are evergreen, ever alive, even in the midst of winter. So they symbolize the unchanging nature of our God, and they remind us of the everlasting life that is ours through Christ Jesus. So under Christian thought and sentiment, holly became widely used in church celebrations. Holly was considered as the burning bush, or a symbol of Mary whose being glows with the Holy Spirit. The red berries represented the blood, blood drops from the cruel thorns in the crown of Jesus. Today, the Christmas tree is the center of our festivities, glittering with lights and ornaments. It is part of the beauty and meaning of Christmas. There are several legends and stories about the Christmas tree. One story is told about one Christmas Eve, Martin Luther wandered outdoors and became, became enraptured with the beauty of the starry sky. Its brilliance and loveliness led him to reflect on the glory of the first Christmas Eve as seen in Bethlehem's brilliant skies. Wishing to share with his wife and children the enchantment from the forest an evergreen, glistening with snow, and to her home. He placed upon it candles to represent the glorious heavens he had seen. The use of a candle-lighted tree spread to all Europe. Then America came to then America came to regard it as the central ornament of Christmas. So we're going to sing some special verses of a Christmas tree. And you are invited to go get some Christmas ornaments and come and bring them up on the tree. And I'm going to attempt to play <coughs> a Christmas tree. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Most Christmas greenery reflects European traditions, but one colorful plant, which looks like a flaming star, the poinsettia, is a native to the American continent. It was named after Dr. Joel Robert Poinsett, an ambassador to Mexico who first introduced it to the United States in 1828. The people of Mexico and Central America call the brilliant tropical plant the flower of the holy night. Poinsettia is a many-pointed star that has become a symbol of the star of Bethlehem. Colors, altar pyramids, or coverings, and banners are some of the most important visual ways Christians have used to express their faith and worship. Purple table coverings are used to symbolize Christ's kingship. At Advent, we wait with anticipation and celebration for our coming Christ, so our hearts sing out, O come, Emmanuel. <coughs> the first verse of O come, O come, Emmanuel. heartwarming expressions of Christmas is the nativity. <coughs> the nativity speaks of the mystery of God's wisdom. Why God chose to send his son into our world as a baby of humble birth, born in common surroundings, we do not know. What we do know is that God reached out to all people, including the poor and the wealthy, the simple and the wise, the powerless and the powerful. <coughs> All who found him knelt in humility before him, knowing God is possible because he came to us at our level. Whenever we see a nativity, we find ourselves with Mary and Joseph, with the shepherds and with the wise men, bowing before the manger, overwhelmed by God's expression of love in coming to us. Today, we display a nativity in our sanctuary. So as we sing um, two verses of a little town of Bethlehem, if some people would go back and bring the nativity to the front. I'm going to get a head start. Oh, no. <laughs>
So from the beginning of Christmas celebrations, gift giving has been a part of the season. The wise men gave out of their treasures and the shepherds gave of themselves. Both expressed the gift of God in giving Christ as the Savior of the world. We have some gifts under the tree. Christmas joy naturally overflows into music. About the first century AD, bells first pealed forth in glad song at Christmas. Of all our Christmas symbols, the bells have experienced the fewest changes. The historical bells have been rung out the, have rung out the glad news as Christmas are the Emperor Bell in Moscow, as the Great Bell of China at Peking the Big Bell of London, and the Liberty Bell of Philadelphia. However, it is church bells in every community around the world that have found their way into each of our hearts. Thank you. I hope you ran out of bells pretty soon. I do. So the actual origin of caroling as part of the Christmas celebration is really unknown. From the first, music of some kind was part of the church festivals in honor of the birth of Jesus. We know that caroling existed in Germany in the 15th century because Martin Luther wrote that when Christmas was celebrated, he went with others from house to house and village to village singing popular Christmas carols. So we could safely assume that caroling was first done by the choir of angels who sang, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace and goodwill to all people. So we're going to pretend like we're a bunch of carolers this morning. And you may stand as we sing the first verse of Angels We Have Heard on High, page 238. 